Hello friends and family! We are here Saturday night and we had a very happy Sabbath. It was wonderful, right? What happened in the church today? There Some was... people got baptized. Yeah, it was a baptized and it was so touching and so like, so good, right? Mm -hmm. Tonight I want to share with you one of my favorite Bible verse and it is found in Jeremiah 31.3. And it says, it's part of the verse and the last part of the verse. And it says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. That's how God is. He loves us so much and he's so kind. God is generous with us and he's rich in mercies and kindness. Do you feel the love of Jesus? Yes. Does Jesus give you everything you need and much more? Yes. Yes, and He is very kind. That's how I grew up learning about God, that God was my Father, that everything that I needed, I could ask in prayer. And my mom, when I was little, my mom, she was a, a prayer warrior. He, she was praying a lot, praying for me, praying for my sisters and I learned that everything we need we can ask God in prayer because he is our very best friend he's like our heavenly father one day when I was growing up first when I was um, born I was born very little because I was premature and my mom took a very good care of me and she was praying for me and um, and caring for me and then I grew up healthy and I learned that Jesus loves me so much it's like the mama bear do you know the bear when has a little baby she takes a good care of the baby and let no one to touch like getting close she was she's very protective of the baby to for the baby not to die and little kids little babies they need a lot of care because they are so fragile so dependent and that's how we are with God we are dependent on God for everything because he's our heavenly father he's so merciful and kind and loving right and he gives everything we need because he wants us to share with others and when I was little growing up I want to go to an Adventist school a boarding school but my parents they did not have a lot of money and we are five girls and one boy so it cost a lot to those boarding school that I want to go but then God made a miracle it was an amazing story we found this person that was our sponsor our mentor and he it was very rich he helped a lot of kids going to school and my little daughter is so sleepy right sweetie so i want to share a little bit with this story because i think when we share our story and how god came into our lives and how god helped us in our lives it encourages others to pray and to seek god in prayer so in this person that was very rich he was a little boy when he was a little boy he was very poor and he found his mom found the adventist church and then he went to a boarding school and he started selling books like a corporate ministry going door to door and selling some books and that's he told his story to me and he said he learned more selling books than all his he is graduating college school and I was curious about and I was when I went to boarding school I was a little bit younger than the other kids so he built a house next to the boarding school for younger kids to stay me and my sister were staying in this beautiful house that he built it and then I was walking on the campus on the on the hallway in the campus and I found a group of students in a meeting and I was very curious and I was sneaking in and I said what are you guys doing and then they said oh we are in a training for corporate ministry and they say can I come in and they say sure come in and 
for my surprise they were like so good trainers they were a little bit older than me but I got the training for corporate ministry and they said you have to ask your mom and daddy you have to ask everyone because you are you are younger than everybody to go with us and the person that was a uh, trainee it was pastor Amir Mahoney today he is the he is the um, the um, the church the world the church in and he is the um, the director for the whole corporate ministry for the world church in Michigan for the whole Adventist church and then he was one of the best trainers and the God was leading me there I was curious about it because my sponsor was one of the things that came to who he was and I went in this trip with the kids door to door to sell books not because I needed the money because my school is, was totally paid off so I just not needed the money to pay my school but I want to go to learn more and to share Jesus and that's how I learned to talk with people some people think I can talk with strangers it's because I learned that we have something good to share if we have something good to share with them then we can talk with them because they don't need to be afraid talking to people because everyone needs Jesus everyone needs the love of Jesus in their lives and that's how in my life was changed because I saw how much generous is Jesus that he was helping me to pay all my studies and God sent this godly person that was an instrument of God to pay all my education and I thank you so much Dr. Milton Afonso and uh, not only that uh, he paid for I was he was like a um, example a mentor and a father to me and he showed me who God is God was generous and kind and loving and this is one of his his Bible verse his favorite Bible verse that he shared with me he said Jeremiah 31 3 was his favorite Bible verse and was I have loved you with an everlasting love I have drawn you with unfailing kindness so this is one of my favorite Bible verses too and I'm so thankful because God showed me that he is our Heavenly Father he cares for us no matter how good a father you have how rich he is but God is much richer He's going to love you more than anyone else, even your mom, even your dad. And I love my kids a lot. I love you, all of you. But Jesus loves you even more. Can you imagine that? And he wants us to spend eternity with him. He did everything he can. to. He gave his life for us. He died for us in our place to forgive us and to save us and to give us everlasting life this is precious and no matter how difficult life can be in this earth because everyone has their challenges but we can trust that God is merciful he's kind he's generous he's so generous and everything you need you can ask him because he's faithful and he wants to give you the very very best and he wants to give you abundant life here but not only abundant life here he wants to give eternal life with him and he's coming back to take us home so trust in his promises he's faithful and kind and have a good night everybody say bye bye everybody we're gonna go to bed bye bye we went to, to visit some places but now we're gonna sleep the kids are falling asleep have a good night and remember God loves you more than anyone in this earth and he wants to give us the very best that uh, that I grew up learning that God was like people were showing me about God and showing me their lives and put a people that could could guide me and show me how much Jesus loved especially my mom she was praying for me and praying for all my sisters and she's still praying and the prayer is what connects us and God 
can answer our prayers. We can pray about everything and give it to God because He answers our prayers. Have a good night and God bless you. Let's pray together. Dear Father, thank you so much for giving us this beautiful Sabbath day. Here, uh, the raining over here, so beautiful. We needed the rain. Thank you for the rain, Lord, here in Colorado. Thank you for all our friends around the world. Please bless them, guide them, and show them your mercies, your generosity, and how loving and kind you are, and how much love you, you gave to us, that you gave your only son to die in our place and to give us abundant life. You want to spend eternity with us and you're coming back, Lord. Please prepare us for this amazing day and help our friends and family to choose you today and to give their lives completely to you because we love you and we want to stay with you and do what you want us to do because you know the best. You know everything about us and you love us and you guide us and you are awesome God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious, holy name, amen. Have a happy week and God bless you. Until next time. Bye-bye.